installation on uh, OpenShift uh, using their uh, S2I, uh, which is source to image uh, deployment uh, of Mule applications. Um, since it's a bit lengthy process and uh, uh, there are a lot of moving parts and uh, I will be doing it in some installments uh, like uh, creating some parts for this video and uh, step by step I will be covering everything and uh, I will be showing you how to use uh, docker uh, for uh, mule and then uh, using that mule application uh, sorry docker uh, implementation how to use that uh, docker base to create a s2i image which you can use and deploy an open shift so uh, before we go ahead let's uh, actually look at uh, one application uh, mule application it's uh, so currently i created one demo application uh, it's just very simple uh, http application uh, so there is a path s2i demo and then it just sets one payload and which we can see on the screen so i will run it and uh, let's see what uh, output comes and uh, let's so this is uh, i have created one domain also uh, okay let me see So I have created one domain application also for this project uh, just to show how domain and app both can be deployed uh, using S2I images. Um, so currently this application is running on local and uh, why I'm showing this because uh, we will be seeing uh, how exactly does it. Uh... Okay, still not started. So let's go back still starting up so currently this application runs on the local um, there is a, a mule, uh, mule server on which this application gets deployed and it's all everything happening here and we will be deploying this application on docker image and I will not be going into details of how to create uh, how, what is docker and what it does uh, I hope I'm hoping you will be already knowing that so this is our application it just says demo s2i mule app it runs on localhost so we will be doing this uh, deployment so let's uh, and what I will be doing uh, it's it's a maven application which can be easily uh, build and exported from here both of them I have already exported uh, this and put it uh, uh, on separate uh, zip files and uh, so let's get started and uh, okay so before that I should talk about what exactly is S2I so what is S2I is it's a source to image uh, framework uh, that makes uh, easy to create uh, uh, how uh, docker images are created and how so it gives a script and then this is how it happens so uh, we download the STI like source to image scripts and then whether you want to do incremental build or not and then you save artifact artifacts then download source create a tag so all this step we will be going through so what I have done so you can go to github open source to image and you can uh, go to releases and then based on your uh, machine you can either download windows Linux or uh, your Mac based you download it and put it on your build uh, on your path so I have done that I have downloaded application and uh, then if I do s2i here so it gives me uh, what all things I can do with s2i uh, it's a tool for building repeatable docker images and we will be using this to create uh, uh, images so first of all what we want to do is uh, we go to let's create one uh, folder okay where am I right now okay so let's go to development mm, okay 
let's create one uh, project here so command to start so what it does it will create a, uh, a template where you can uh, write what kind of build you want for your project and how the project should be built so with s2i create uh, you give the name of your uh, um, final build image what name it will be so I am giving AC Harris 10 mule s2i image um, demo and then what folder name I want to create if the folder doesn't exist it will be created for you so let's say let's give it mule s2i Angle project. So here you see this is the command s I create, and then with this, I, this is the future name of my build image. Uh, currently, it's uh, will not do anything. It's will so whatever template it's going to create, it will create everything there with this name. And uh, I will be showing you what exactly gets created, and this is the folder name. So let's hit enter. So it got created. So here is my project. So now I will be going to Atom and let's open that project. Um, development and uh, this is not project. So let's open this. So here you can see um, it has created this Docker sample file. Uh, template file so here it gives you a starting point um, from how, where you can write your own uh, docker creation uh, base creation and then it will create one s2i folder where there is various uh, assemble run or save artificate artifacts and usage and then it also creates a test folder where test apps will be created and uh, there is readme file so you can uh, Go through this and see what exactly what different commands are there so what you see here the name which i gave that s2i image demo it's using everywhere as a template and then putting and giving us commands and uh, how it can be created so let's go to docker file and if you have not downloaded docker till now so you can go to docker and install docker on your machine so for this s2i build to work docker should be running on your local and you should have docker exes available so if i i have already downloaded and installed if i go here and if i do docker so here you can see i have docker installed and all commands are available so now in next part uh, I will next part for, uh, yeah, second part of this video uh, I will be start uh, updating docker file and we'll see how a base uh, image is created and how that base image can be used to create a s2i image so I'll see you in next video